Welcome to another Doctors Express Medical Minute. Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Brown, the Medical Director for Doctors Express of West Hartford and Danbury, Connecticut. Uh, today's Medical Minute is going to be on bee stings and wasp stings. So this time of year, of course, that's a concern, particularly for our kids. Us adults usually know if, how we respond, if we're allergic or not, but our kids, we may not know. So with most bee stings or wasp stings, um, it's not a big deal. You, you first, you want to remove the stinger, you know, apply cold compresses. If there's a lot of pain, you can take some Tylenol, and usually that's enough. Um, most of the time, people don't have an allergic reaction, like difficulty breathing or, or hives and rash that's very itchy, those sort of things. Now, unfortunately though, uh, allergic symptoms can occur only on the second or third or fourth bee sting. So you might not know, even if your child has been stung before, if he or she is allergic. So what can you do? Well, if you have real concerns or they've had an allergic reaction or there's a strong family history of allergies, you can take your child to an allergist and they can do a simple blood test and let you know if they're allergic to bee stings or wasp stings. It's also important to differentiate between typical allergic symptoms and real severe, what we call anaphylactic symptoms. So your typical allergic symptoms, the vast majority of allergic symptoms are itching, hives, uh, a rash, those sort of things. Not a big deal. You can take over the counter Benadryl. There's medications as doctors, prednisone and ointments that we can give, all sorts of things. And it typically just lasts for a few hours or, or a day or two. The more serious life-threatening symptoms, however, are what we call anaphylactic symptoms. That's when the throat closes up or feels like it's closing up, difficulty breathing, wheezing, it feels like the heart is racing. These are life-threatening uh, symptoms. And you really want to, one, call 911, and two, use an EpiPen. If you have concern or you know that your child or yourself has the possibility of having these anaphylactic reactions, you really want to uh, have an EpiPen uh, when you're outside. So this time of year, we want our kids to be outside. You don't want them inside playing video games all day. So you want them outside, but you gotta take some reasonable, appropriate precautions. Uh, if you can have an EpiPen nearby, uh, and God forbid you have to actually use it, but uh, you wanna have it. If your child is having anaphylactic reactions, not only do you want to use the EpiPen, but you want to call 911. They got to go straight to the uh, emergency department. Other things to have if your children don't have serious allergic reactions, just simply have some Benadryl, even Claritin, Zyrtec, those sort of antihistamines uh, on hand, just in case your child uh, is stung. So here at Doctors Express, we're, we're always happy to help you. Of course, if you have any questions or concerns, or you're stung and you have some symptoms, come on in and see us. And, and just to reiterate, if you have severe uh, anaphylactic symptoms, of course, you really want to call 911 and go to the hospital. This has been another Medical Minute from Doctors Express Urgent Care, with locations in Danbury, West Hartford, Bridgeport, Stanford, and Hartsdale, New York.